Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Shane with Shane Media. In this video, we're gonna talk about Scream. Let's get into it. Uh -huh. Scream is a 1996 film starring Nev Campbell, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, and is directed by Wes Craven. So, Scream tells the story of Sydney Prescott, a high school girl caught in the middle of a murder spree in her hometown of Woodsboro, just one year after the murder of her mother. This movie has an outstanding cast and is definitely a movie you need to go into blind if you're a first time viewer. It's a whodunit with twists and turns along the way and it is done in the best way possible. This movie is such a perfect blend of different genres and it offers a little something for everyone. If you're into comedy, it's here. If you're into a straight up slasher movie, it's here. If you're into movies like Clue, you'll like it. If you're into that Scooby-Doo, whodunit, unmasking the villain at the end, you'll like it. This is just such a fun movie, guys. It does poke a little bit of fun at the genre, but never at the expense of the villain or the characters. It knows exactly when it needs to play it as a completely straight slasher movie and keep you on the edge of your seat. And then it also knows when it's able to pull back and lighten the mood a little bit. And it weaves in and out of its tones perfectly and seamlessly. This is seriously such a brilliant movie, guys. I really can't praise this movie enough, but I'm going to do my best in this video. So, to many fans, Scream from 1996 is, in many ways, one of the most important slasher movies and one of the most important horror movies ever made. And was certainly the most important horror movie of the 90s, at least in the slasher subgenre. And I don't think a single person disputes that. I don't know how you could dispute that. Some may argue that it's not the best, and that's fair. Everybody has an opinion. I believe that when compared to all of the movies that were spawned because of this film, I do believe it is the best stacked up against any of those, but that is my opinion. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind with this video. But to truly understand and appreciate and respect Scream as a movie, you have to understand the state of horror at the time of its release. So anybody who was a big slasher fan in the 80s and early 90s knows that Halloween from 1978 kicked the door open for an entire era of movies that will never be forgotten, and that was the slasher genre. Did they exist before Halloween? Sure, but they certainly didn't have the influence on the pop culture consciousness that they had until Halloween. And because of the impact that Halloween had on horror movies in the late 70s and early 80s, that little era between about 1978 and 1984 is considered the golden age of slasher movies. And for good reason. Some of the best and most memorable and fun movies of the entire genre to date were made in that little six-year time period. That's just a perfect little time capsule of movies that will forever be cherished by many fans, myself included. But around 1985 or 1986, the genre really started to die down. The hype around these movies petered out. People were tired of it. They were like, okay, we want more. I mean, I wasn't alive back then, but just like anything else, I mean, look at what the Marvel movies are doing now. The first... I'd say 10 years of the Marvel movies, every time one of these things came out, it was the biggest movie of the year. And obviously, I'm not comparing a low-budget slasher movie to the Marvel movies. I mean, budget, hype, everything around the Marvel movies is obviously way more amplified and on steroids compared to the slasher movies. I'm just using that as an example because it's, you know, an easy one that comes to my mind. But these were very popular movies. They were in the zeitgeist. They were in the pop culture consciousness. People did love these movies. They were fun little movie theater experiences, but people got sick of it. They were getting old. The formula was getting stale, and these movies just petered out. So you have about 10 years there where horror as a genre just was in a little bit of a crisis. I mean, none of the filmmakers knew what to do. Everything they were doing and trying failed. Uh, there was a lot of experimental movies coming out in that time. 
We did have a few good ones. You had Candyman. You had Hellraiser. You know, they came out in that little 10-year stretch where the genre was all but dead. You had a few little hidden gems, but by and large, the genre was dead. And one of the big causes of this, while certainly not the only cause, there were several factors coming into play here, but one of the biggest contributing factors to this issue was the fact that these studios were sucking these franchises dry. And I imagine audiences were getting to the point where they felt like these characters just had no more integrity left. The studios aren't taking these franchises and their characters seriously, so why should we? So audiences just checked out. But then the year 1994 comes along and we get what could possibly be considered the second most important horror film of the 90s. And that is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Now, I don't believe New Nightmare is near as good as Scream. It is a good movie. I like it. It's actually one of the better Nightmare movies, if you ask me. But aside from the original Nightmare and Dream Warriors, I mean, I think everybody likes that one. I, I, I don't think I like Dream Warriors as much as a lot of people, but it is hands down one of the better movies in that franchise. But New Nightmare is probably my second favorite in that franchise, and it is a solid movie. And the reason I say it's probably the second most important horror movie of the 90s is because Wes Craven introduced concepts and early ideas here that he would later go on to implement in Scream just two years later. This film literally laid the ground work for Scream. Of course, the ideas were a little undercooked and underdeveloped in New Nightmare, but they were fully realized in Scream in 1996. And the ideas I'm referring to are self-referential horror. Um, I don't think they called it this back in the 90s, but the term used to describe these movies now is meta. Now, the plots of each of these movies are not at all the same. They are two very different movies with their own identities. But you can see the ideas for each movie are clearly rooted in the same concept. New Nightmare explores the concepts of basically a movie within a movie, sort of. So you have everyone who worked on the first couple of Nightmare movies playing themselves in New Nightmare. You have Heather Langenkamp and Robert England and Bob Shea and Wes Craven all playing themselves. And within this movie, the other Nightmare on Elm Street movies are just movies. And Freddy Krueger is no longer technically Freddy. I mean, yeah, it's Freddy. I mean, that's, I've always just called it Freddy. But it's actually a demon taking on the persona of Freddy. Now, when this movie was new, it was not received very well by critics or audiences. And I personally believe, and I know a lot of other people also believe this, that New Nightmare was just simply ahead of its time. It was introducing concepts that people either weren't ready for or just simply didn't care about because of the state of horror at the time. Like I said, they were just completely checked out of horror movies. Now, like I said, Scream also takes the meta approach, but it handles it a little differently. So in Scream, these characters are basically acknowledging that they're in a horror movie. Now, they never officially and fully break the fourth wall, but all throughout the movie, they're explaining and trying to obey the rules of horror movies. And the character who gives us all of this exposition on the state of horror and the rules of horror is Randy Meeks. He is actually a fan favorite of this entire franchise. But I digress. So, unlike New Nightmare... This movie was actually a huge success. I do believe it actually broke records as far as slasher movies up until that time with like financial and box office numbers. I don't know all of the specifics on all of that. I'm sure somebody in the comments section can let me know, but I do know it was a very successful movie and for good reason. This movie was, like I said, amazing. It was truly lightning in a bottle. And it came out in a time when horror, especially slasher movies, were desperate for a good comeback movie. And this movie more than delivered. In fact, because of all the positive feedback this movie got, it completely revitalized the horror genre. And we got another entirely new era of slasher movies in the late 90s and early 2000s. And while I would say none of those movies quite reached the level of quality that Scream was, we got some pretty solid movies in that time frame. But like I said, none of them were on the level that Scream was, and it was clearly the undisputed champion of that era and of the 90s, and would ultimately go down in history as one of the best and most important slasher movies of all time. 
I mean, everything in this movie just works so well from the plot to the characters, just everything. I mean, this movie was seriously firing on every cylinder. This movie had a certain charm that the movies that came after it just couldn't replicate. Not even its own sequels could ever quite get back to whatever it was that made this movie tick. I mean, Scream was such a good movie and so well received by everybody that it truly commercialized horror more than it had probably ever been before, and it made it mainstream. I mean, slasher movies had never been mainstream like they were in the late 90s. And it was all because of this one movie. That's how much of an impact it had on the pop culture consciousness. And I've heard a lot of people say that this movie is overrated. And I just don't see it. I mean, I remember when it came out. And I remember what it did for horror movies. And it's just a really good movie, guys. I, I really don't have a single bad thing to say about this movie. I mean, sure, I could nitpick it all day long and I could say, oh, they did this or they shouldn't have done that or if they'd have done this, it would have been better. But, I mean, you can do that with any movie. But I personally wouldn't change a single thing. This is a perfect movie to me, guys. So for a rating, I'm giving this movie a solid 10. I highly recommend that every single person watches this movie. And if you haven't already seen this movie, as soon as this video is over, go watch it. And in the meantime, go ahead and like and share this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.